so you get the idea there. Uh, yeah. And uh, let's see here. So I've got my menus up here, and I've got, uh, I can go to preferences as an example. This, this, we, we did all of this ourselves, all the hardware, the software, this is all from Apple, not a third party product. And I can go to, as an example in preferences, parental controls, and I can set parental controls to say, well, you know, I really want to only let my kids watch, uh, you know, up to PG 13, <laughs> and I can set a password on this thing. So this is really great. Uh, and the other thing that's kind of cool uh, is, um, is we got this really cool controller here. Uh, and it controls all the playing, as you see. Uh, and I can, uh, you know, I can go forward on this thing if I want to. Actually, it's this one here. Go forward at a fast rate. And all these other nice things. I've got some, I've got a little, OK, thank you. I've got a little door here with all my advanced features under it. Uh, and it's pretty nice. It's a second generation DVD-ROM drive, so it reads all the CDR drives and things like that. And um, the PC card supports MPEG-2, AC3, all the great stuff. So this is now the coolest way to watch movies on airplanes in the whole world. <laughs> So that was our Pro Portable product. Now we also announced on May 6th that we are developing a consumer portable product and that we will make that available in the, and announce it in the first half of next year. And we're hard at work on that and I think it's going to be quite nice. Which brings us to our consumer desktop product and something we're going to spend a fair bit of time on today, which of course is the iMac, which combined the excitement of the internet with the simplicity of a Macintosh. And that was our goal in this product. When we got to Apple a year ago, it was very clear within the first month that Apple was walking away from the consumer market because Apple didn't have a compelling product under $2,000 and had not had one for some time. We immediately began a program to build the most kick-ass consumer product we knew how to do, and that's the iMac. So we're really, really happy with this thing. It's gorgeous. It's going to change the way we believe. It's going to, we believe it's going to change the way computers look and should look. And as you see these things, there's, there's I think between 50 and 100 iMacs here today. Uh, it is really, really beautiful. Keyboard, the mouse. It's very nice. And this is the competition, <laughs> right? Now, the first thing to note about the competition is it's not exactly nice looking, but more importantly, the competition is powered by <coughs> a new type of processor. While the, G3, while, while the iMac has a G3 in it, I think that was one of our most important decisions, was let's not wimp out here. Let's put a killer engine in this car, right? And we put a G3 233 in it. The other consumer products have the celery processor in them, running at 266 megahertz. And let's take a look at this. The Celeron, the Intel Celeron, benchmarks out at 3.2 byte marks. Okay, 3.2. The iMac, 7.9. Okay, it blows them away. But even more impressively, let's add the rest of the Wintel lineup. The fastest Pentium money can buy at 400 megahertz is slower than our consumer product. Key point. So, what's in an iMac? G3233 processor, half a megabyte backside cache, the thing screams. A gorgeous 15-inch display with 10 by 7. We said, you know, what's the, what's the most wonderful display you could ever build into a consumer product? And we built it in. And we designed it all ourselves, and the, and the quality of this is gorgeous. You've got to go see these on the show floor. They're gorgeous, gorgeous displays. A really nice complement of memory, 32 megabytes of RAM, expandable to 128, a 4 gigabyte disk drive, and a 24x speed CD-ROM. 
and an outstanding complement of communications. We built in 100 megabit per second Ethernet because our education customers want it. Many consumer customers are starting to network in their homes. And even some of our design and publishing customers want to use the iMac because it's terrific for some, some of the jobs that they do. So we built in super fast networking. A lot of the other consumer products don't have networking, and on many you can't even add it. We decided to go to a whole new system of I.O., a whole new way to talk to your I.O. called Universal Serial Bus. It's an emerging industry standard, runs at 12 megabits per second. We have two USB ports built in and a 33.6 KB modem. Now, we got some feedback on the modem. <coughs> and while we have many faults at Apple, one of them is not not listening to our customers. And so it's my pleasure to announce today that we have upgraded the modem and that starting from iMac number one, they're all shipping with a 56K modem. <clears throat> so, thank you for your cards and letters. We really do read them. <laughs> Four megabit infrared, which is wonderful for talking to some of these new digital cameras, et cetera, et cetera. Stereo surround sound, great keyboard and mouse. Not a cheesy one, great keyboard and mouse. And some great bundled software, starting with, of course, Mac OS 8.1, which is a really nice version of the Mac OS. And the best internet software for getting online in the world, Microsoft Internet Explorer, Microsoft Outlook Express, and America Online.